I like the look of Weibo's side too, though. <laughs> I mean, Trini NAR Trinity Force is like the go-to now t as well. So I feel like you're kind of, uh, you know, very well-rounded here too, since you've got Trinity Force NAR, Oriana scales super nicely and gives that bit of defense along with the offense. And uh, Light here with the engage options on Ash again. So much has been determined by the openings of these games, though, and the lane swaps giving those advantage, setting them up for success. Now we're seeing the evolution of that. Like, all right, we're going to stack a defense here if you do come for the invade. All of them? Nope, zero. Oh, it was one LNG of the other. win every game three <laughs> between the two teams. Our featured matchup is Xiaohu and Scout in the mid lane. Scout's already burned his flash, and LNG have looked for the invade on the top side. Scout was back across towards the red. Weibo have a man advantage right now as Tarzan can look for the engage. Zicker on the wrong side of the wall. Flash away from Hung, but the flash chase. They're going to get concussive blows on him. Just need one more auto. Light will get it. Hung is left to his lonesome, and Weibo strike first. That was so bad for LNG. They started out by investing mid lane flash for jungler flash. <laughs> Level one fights, the passive, the Q, and Weibo here. They're the ones coming out in game number three with a massive advantage. Not, wait, it's not done yet, Betty, look. Zicker's on the flank, has that flash. Tarzan hits level two, hung on his way to join the fight, but doesn't have a flash, and only has that pulverized counter strike. He's gonna go down, and Zicker locks up Chris. Tarzan trying to get the Bramble Smash away. Zicker <laughs> flashes forward, twist in advance, we'll get the slow one to Zicker, because the blows is what's gonna get the stun. Breathe and Xiaohu walking down towards the bottom side of the charm. It's gonna land onto Tarzan, and he's down to LNG. Now the one's on top. What is going on? LNG actually bringing Gala and Hung all the way up towards his top arrow. side. The arrow's coming down, hits onto Weiwei. Nature's grass as well from Tarzan. Breeze flashes away from LNG. No one tanking up the tower as of yet. Chris flashes in. They're looking for more. Twisted advance. Paranoia in the back line, but the shockwave is absolutely massive. Xiaohu finds four. Wei walking away wounded, but I don't think there's another way for him to go home apart from in a body bag. Xiaohu finds two. Weibo defend the play, and they're going to take such a huge lead with all of this extra gold. The only thing for LNG is they don't have anyone who can rotate up to top wave. Oh, Scout going in, the paranoia as well. They dive onto Breathe, who tries to jump to the safety of the tower, but he can't get there in time. The arrow going wide, Nature's Grass used as well by Tarzan. Xiaohu coming in with a TP, and Zika was caught with a shockwave. Zika diving back forward, he's surviving for so long. In the end, the clockwork wind-up will take him out. Xiaohu now in a 1v3, light beginning to collapse. Hung his first target, Crisp there to join the Barney. Weiwei way falling low. Xiaohu can't quite get in range, needs another auto command attack. Was blocked with the Soul Shield. Blast cone out from Weiwei, but he goes the wrong way, way indeed. Xiaohu takes the kill, Hung dies as well. Meanwhile, Scout is getting chased in by Chris because it blows Glacier Fisher used. Scout flashes, but the Winter's Bite is icy and cold and puts him in a coffin. It looks like Scout is going to be able to dodge away from the arrow, but Hong is the one who's being caught. Chris chasing in. There's the shockwave back. Hong gets a good unbreakable will off just in time. Tarzan going for the chase on Weiwei. He'll be feared back though. Hung trying to do everything he can to survive here. Does still have the flash, but in the end he will be sacrificed. A Weibo find another. An easy pick for Weibo. Helping Weibo out, but more just dawdling through the river right now. LNG going to put their attention down towards Zekka. It's jumped on down towards the bottom side. Light and Breathe able to take him out already. Weibo have got one. Scout still looking for that flank. The Drake secured by LNG, their second of the game exchanged for a kill in favor of Weibo, but LNG will be very happy that they stopped the soul from sacking up the arrow, though. Finds Weiwei's heart, and Chris follows up as well. Weiwei, the twisted advance enough to spell his demise, as Weibo might turn their attentions towards the top side, but no Baron for a minute. Then begins to collapse. Chris goes in, spell shoot. There's the charm from Scout, TP coming in from LNG as well as they look to turn this fight around. The paranoia has been popped by Weiwei, diving onto the backline, Killer Instinct, Light locked up. Gala dives in and they're looking for the damage onto Light. The unbreakable wall is not enough to stop Gala on his advance. Chris falling to LNG, fine two. The critical seconds there. Breathe was unable to teleport. Weibo see the Baron hasn't been started by LNG. They have the shockwave now on Xiaohu. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. They don't know, they actually yeah, don't know. They thought it wasn't being done. And now Tarzan's going to walk up, chuck a sapling in there and realize, oh my god, this is 6,000 HP. Xiaohu has though. a TP, he'll try and join the fight. Breathe coming in from the top side as well, but the Baron has already been finished. Xiaohu comes in, Hagen's going to sacrifice himself to make sure his team secures the ultimate prize. The Baron taken by LNG. Isolated. The dive comp came into fruition from LNG and removing light meant a oh. one team fight. Zika. Wailing away on Tarzan, knocks him back with a Bramble Smash. 
Void Seeker coming in from Garland. Look at the damage onto Tarzan. The paranoia being used as well. Everybody's coming to get you as Tarzan begins to retreat. But the dive in is enough. Tarzan is going timber. And Garland's looking for more. Ticker will take out Light. Crisp now left to his own devices. He's fried by LNG. Xiaohu trying to escape, but there's another Spirit Rush. And Scout will be holding the charm like his life depends on it because it almost might. Xiaohu still finds him through the charm. Void Seeker going out as Xiaohu is chunked down to 200 HP. Breathe about to go. Mega knocked over the wall by Hung. LNG will get the mid tier one, but not much more. Another team fight win for LNG. And he can TP top. Breathe can TP as well. He's going to go back to base first to try and get back to full HP, but that Baron's already down to 5,000 HP. Nature's Grass coming out. Hung doing a wonderful job of keeping the tree a mile away. The Baron falls in the forest, and LNG damn well heard it. Weibo could get nowhere near, and instead they'll look for a Drake. Are they going to keep Scout pushing all the way towards Inhibitor Tower? They do have a couple trailing members there, too. It looks like they will commit to that. Weibo destroy this dragon fairly quickly, though. I think they should be able to defend. Ash Arrow. Looking for Scout. Doesn't oh. find Scout. He's oh. very much forward with the dive immediately onto Breathe. The Nar into the wall will buy him a second, but it's not enough time. Breathe is down. The double trailing play for LNG. It's Gala and Weiwei with the ulti. So immediately answer one of eight. If you're Weibo, how do you even jump on a side lane here? Because Kaisa and Nocturne are always threatening these ultis between multiple lanes to join and defend. It is just so relentless, the pressure with the added oh, Baron Buff. Zika has a stopwatch, he'll use it before Tarzan can get the full engage. Hung trying to come across as well with a Nar into the wall was done. Zika, he's gonna try and get the counter strike off in time. First leap strikes away, the arrow going down as well. It's wide, Zika surviving for a hell of a long time. While well, Skype pushes in the top side. In the end, Zika will fall even through the counter strike. The Thunder Sky not gonna be enough to keep him alive. Scout should be able to get an inhibitor for this and will do exactly that. Exactly. It buys enough time to get the objective, the inhibitor. Final calamitous 5v5. Crucially, the Weibo have found access into the pit. The sideline pressure has disappeared for now. The Baron is started. All they needed was access, apparently, Betty. They're going to start up the Baron as they're trying to pull out the TP from Zika, and there it goes. Weibo stick to the Baron. The arrow goes wide and oh. hits onto Zika. The Baron down to 2,000. Scout going in with the Charm as well. The Baron's already screwed by Weibo, and they're diving with the Twisted Advance. Scout on the backline down to half HP already. God is dead. He dived in and he died for oh. Incredible now! Breathe catches LNG out of the air and slams them into the wall. Weibo win the fight, and you have to feel they can just march down mid. A single fight was all they needed. Five for zero. Weibo will wipe out LNG. They've done it again. Weibo draw LNG into the Baron pit. They get the Baron, they get the team fight, and they're going to get the dub. 30 seconds from anyone for LNG to be back up, but I think all they're gonna do is watch their Nexus fall in grayscale. Curses be damned. Game three, curse you save, Eddie. Apparently, Weibo just don't care. Weibo are one game away from semis. Light with the timing on the arrow on that teleport. Ooh.